Hello, all you magnificent people, Turbo the Magnificent here, and today, we're starting another Terraria playthrough. The fans have voted, and the super modded playthrough has been selected. Uh, but I've decided to call it the Cluster Fudge, because... Dear God, there's a lot of mods. Uh, the reason that the men everything's frozen, there's no sound or anything like that, because I'm tabbed out, because I got the list open right here. This, and I'm just going to quickly read off all the mods that I've decided to include. I may take one or two of them out. I don't know. Depends. So, we have the Spirit Mod, Thorium Mod, Magic Storage, Sacred Tools, G-Realm, Exodus, Auto Trash, Echoes of the Ancients, Fargo's Mutant Mod, Juiced Mod, Louis AFK's Mod, Tremor Mod, Weapon Out, Calamity, Loot Bags Mod, Alchemy MPC, Reduced Grinding, More Potions, More Accessories Plus, More Chest Loot, Helpful Hotkeys, and Wing Slot. Oh my god, that's, it's, it's a lot, yeah. I suppose I probably could have just gone in here and just shown you all the mods. It, it's a lot. Look, we got we got lots of mods going on. Takes way too long to load up. It also says Exodus mod up there for some reason, I guess, because Exodus mod was the only one that actually felt important enough to just replace the logo with its own special thing. Uh, but yeah, so we're just going to go. We're just going to get in. We're just going to just create a new character. We're just going to just randomize the frig out of it. Blah, 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 blah. And no. Mm, no. 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 There we go. We'll go with that one. It, it sort of looks a bit like Smooth Groove. We'll go with him. And we gotta give him a name. Uh, uh, <laughs> Bobbert Frampton. There we go. Bobbert Frampton. Going in. Going in big with Bobbert Frampton. Yeah, there he is. Get that guy. We're gonna make a new world. Uh, this is gonna be a medium. Uh, maybe we should make this one large, cause there's a lot of mods. This is probably a lot of. Yeah, let's let's go with large. We're gonna go with expert, cause why the frick not? Uh, did we go corruption or crimson last time? We did crimson. That's right. So we're gonna go with corruption this time around, cause we did crimson in the calamity playthroughs. So we're gonna we're gonna do this one. This one's gonna be cluster fudge, cause that's what this is. Be back when this is done loading. Oh god, this is gonna take a long time. And we are in. Oh dear God. Oh dear God, there is a lot of stuff. Okay, so, immediately, right off the bat, we got a godly copper short sword, good, regular copper tools and crap, nothing too amazing there. We got a nice dirt block, just throw that away. Three mining potions, I don't even know why. A family heirloom? Uh, great, that's, I'm pretty sure that's Thorium. Yeah, that's Thorium, okay. Thorium mod, great, I'm okay with that thing. We got an Adventurous Spark, can be enchanted only once. Used to make, uh, oh, we gotta, like, choose a freaking class. Uh, was, that's, that's Tremor. Oh, Tremor. Oof. Let's hope it's gotten better. Uh, and then we got the revenge thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this away. I did debate starting this, but this is just gonna make everything harder, including the non calamity stuff. So we're just gonna not do revenge. That's for another day. Oh yeah, one of the mods I got. I don't remember which one, but it improved short swords, so they work like spears now. Yeah, that's cool. And then we got this thing. As I don't I don't know what that is. But we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna this big old tower and stuff. That's pretty dang freaking cool. Don't you, look at that. Look at that, look at that, it's got a tower, we could just live in here. And it's got a chest, and the chest has a, a tower shield. Grants 15 defense when used. Oh, it's an item, it's not, oh, it is equipped. What? Hold right mouse button to use, oh. Okay. That's incredibly weird, can we, like, use it as a, no, okay, it is an accessory. Interesting. And it just gives us 15... Weird. Okay, and it gives us uh, some nickel and some stuff. Cool. Awesome. Well, we'll take those. Are these, like, special torch? Coal torch? What the frick? How do you make a coal torch? What? 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 I don't know. I'm just gonna put that back on the wall because I'm real scared of it. Um, but yeah. We got us a, a, a short sword. Ooh. I'm not okay with that. Every time we open a chest or a door or something, it's gonna be like, we're gonna get slowed down. Alright, I immediately loving the fact that I can just poke stuff, just like that. 
Uh, there's a golden squirrel, all right off the bat. I'm just gonna poke it right in the face and kill it. And we got a thing. We got a rusty buckler. It's just more defense. Why not? Let's let's go for it. It doesn't have any sort of vanity effect in it, on it or anything like that. Let me just say, this is gonna. I don't know how this playthrough is gonna go. I'm probably gonna be completely overwhelmed for like 90% of this playthrough, um, and it's gonna be insane. Um, I'm gonna need a lot of time to suss out everything, cause like 5 or 6 of the 24 mods I have are all like calamity sized mods. So... It's gonna be interesting. Hey, we got us a nice godly spear. So we basically just... There's, there's no point to use the short sword now, cause it's bigger and... Does slightly less damage, actually, thinking about it. Uh, but hey, we've had only godly weapons so far, so that's interesting enough. Um, yeah. I'm gonna not go down there just yet. That's That looks a little bit dangerous. Let's just do some surface exploring to start out with, because that I feel like that's probably the most productive thing we can do at this point. Uh, we should probably do what we can. Oh, we can make rocks out of rocks. That's cool. Uh, there's an alchemist star spark. I don't know what alchemical damage is. I'm assuming that's a tremor class, so I'm gonna ignore that one. We're not gonna go range, because we did that in Calamity. As much as I love range, we're not gonna do it. Um, I'm thinking probably magic. Magic is probably, like, magic and ranged are the two easiest and best classes, without a doubt. Minion, we're not doing summoner. Thrower, thrower is interesting. Uh, Thorium has some incredibly powerful throwing stuff, like, really powerful throwing stuff, so maybe we'll go for that, but I don't know. Um, Warrior, melee would be cool too. I think we're gonna go for mage. Now, this isn't, like, this is probably defining our, our, our class for most of the playthrough, but, you know, we're, we're not going to be restricted to it. We're, we're not, there's no restrictions here. We're just going to focus mainly on... It'll be like the Calamity playthrough was. Hey! And, going along with that, we immediately got a Wand of Sparking. Oh, we, okay, we got a Flute. Awesome. That's terrifying. Oh, we got a, a thing. What is that? Why Why did that happen? I forgot there's extra classes and stuff, so we could go, like, bard or something if we wanted. We got plus four crit chance. That's cool. Oh, we got a tier one loot bag. That's from a mod. It gave us some emeralds. Cool. <laughs> there's so much stuff already. We're like, we're like ten minutes in. Probably less, because, oh, look, we got an umbrella. This could be crafted into something, right? Yeah, the delta plane and the bell rose. Oh, my God, there's so much crap. <laughs> Whee! Stuff. That's amazing. We got a nice wand of sparking. I noticed we started with 40 mana this time. Oh, is that that's because of the sorcerer spark? Well, that's very pleasant. And immediately, right off the bat, we got ourselves a nice life crystal. There's already a house. This is incredible luck. Wow. I set a slime on fire. It immediately put the fire out and then caught on fire. There's another house! Holy frick, what the frick is going on? By the way, I guess I should probably say, uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you somehow happened upon these videos, um, wel welcome to Derpo the Magnificent's Magnificent YouTube channel. It's, it's just a channel filled with incompetence. <laughs> it could not have been timed any better. God dang it. What is an ancient golem? It doesn't matter. I'm so incompetent! Okay, <laughs> great. I don't think Bobbert Frampton here is really gonna be prepared for all the crazy crap that's gonna be going down in this particular playthrough. Well, how do we already have a gold? Where did I get that? I don't even know. I don't have any glow sticks, so I can't, like, throw that. Look, there, look. Bobbert Frampton was torn in half by a boulder. That's, that just... Uh. That is probably the fastest death in any Terraria series on the entirety of YouTube. Which, by the way, we got a, we got a nice guarding band of regeneration. I probably should have mentioned. It's a really good find this early in the game. An expert mode and all. It's going to be great. What else we got? Holy frick, Burt's... Burt's? Yeah, we got Burt's on the first episode. <laughs> this is going very well. What is an ancient golem? Why does it have so much health? Why is its maximum health going down as I kill it? I'm confused. Is it is it regenerating health? 
Oh yes, yes, I'm not actually hurting it, I'm just lowering its maximum health. That's not okay. Almost dead. He's got 14 health left. 11, 8, 7. He's dead. We killed him. Oh my God. Now these enemies. They have 160 health. Why? Why is this? I'm not. I'm not okay with anything that's occurring at this current point in time. Crap's about to. I'm gonna die. I'm getting killed by leeches. Bobbert Frampton was not prepared for any of this. Flamethrower them, Bobbert. Bobbert, stop dying. Bobbert! <laughs> I hate these enemies! They won't stop dying. They won't. They won't. There's two. I got killed by a leech! Okay, well, you know what? I've decided. This is going to be my first house, because frick you. Not you, but you. You know who I'm talking to, and if you don't, that's fine as well, because I don't know who I'm talking to. Things are not going particularly well at this current point in time. How many bosses we got to deal with? Good God! That's a lot of freaking bosses! I- Oh, I'm being slaughtered! I, look, I'll deal with that crap late- Oh my God! I'm d uh, there's zombies and everything, and I'm gonna have to, like, bard them to death, and... ah! I got some undying flesh. Great. I'm just- I'm ready for- I got auto-trash this time, so all this frick, I can- I got- I got thing- good. Got a music box for the Eclipse. You can craft music boxes, that's incredible. We got things that can't be crafted- I I don't even know what any of this is. Look, look, we'll deal with it later. Oh, by the way, the moon looks different for some reason. I'm not sure what mod changed the moon sprite. I'm not sure what modder thought, you know what, that moon sprite that's already in the game, peh, that's a trash, that's trash, disgusting. Who would ever think that that was the moon? Frick that, and decided to make their own moon. Because that's not a good, it's all right. The default moon was pretty good though. I don't know why you had to like go and change it. What was wrong with the default moon that you had to go and change the sprite yourself? I mean, jeez. <sighs> Look, let's get some wooden armor. Oh, good, we got the derpo head immediately. Fantastic. Um, I, there's nothing I can really do about that. What is that? It's a savage undead warrior coming to knock on my door. Go away! Stop existing on the same plane of existence that I exist on. There's a second type of flesh? Are they from different mods? That's from Tremor, and that's from G-Realm. God dang it! Oh, there's gonna be so much trash filling up our inventory, so I can make a wooden cross, wooden teko. Aw, oh, man, that'd be the first thing I was crafting if the fist playthrough had actually won, but it didn't. No! Why did it, why did it turn into a torso? Why are we playing Half-Life? I'm, so, I'm so incompetent. I'm so inco- No, the t <laughs> crawl- Okay, we killed it, it's dead. We don't have anything to worry about anymore. Let's go get that fallen star. We're definitely gonna freaking need it. Cause, god dang, we're gonna go mage and stuff, and we're gonna need to get- Don't- don't you dare get on my head, you scumbag of a zombie. You sad excuse for a life. Wow, cutting deep there. Okay, look, let's run around, try and find us some more fallen stars, get us some more mana, deal with stuff. Yes, we got some more mana. What the crap is that? No, I'm not- Stop it! It's so scary! That's the scariest thing! That- Did you see how fast he was running? There's another type of flesh! No! This is- Look, I- Call on this thing a cluster fudge was an understatement. This is ri This is just dumb! Back off! I'll flute you. I'll have you know. I can. I, what is that? That's a myconoid. 
Or Mike and Mike and Odd, I'm dead. It doesn't matter. A savage undead warrior came by and ripped my arms off. I'm very glad that this little tower exists. I can't remember which exactly. This was either Exodus or G Realm that made this tower exist. I'm very, very happy it exists because it's it's very helpful. Holy crap! Okay, so let's let's uh blocks. Let's do some inventory management. What is that? Why is there a cyclop? You know what? You can piss off. You can- I don't- I'm not dealing with you. You don't even know how to knock on a door, you're so incompetent. There's a chest salesman. Okay. He's arrived. He's over there. Um, there's- there's very grumpy tree with very silly legs. Go away. It- it-, it no! Catch it on fire! It does no damage! I can't- why can I not catch a tree on fire? Why are there- why are things so tough? I will never understand mod makers for crying out loud. What the hell? I got some leaves. I got a tree sword. That's real good. Early game, that's real good. Like that, that's my primary now. That's, it does a decent amount of damage. It's big. It can shoot an acorn. All right. Hello, Mike. How do you do? Don't have the aptitude for crafting those beautiful mysterious chests all over the globe. I collect them for a hobby. I'm here to sell them. Alright, so, you can- you sell me chests. Thank you. Robin the Archer has arrived. Why? I hate you. I'm going to need so many houses, oh god! <laughs> no! What do you got, Robin? I will shoot anything with my best arrow if you'll not buy anything. Oh, I sell a wooden arrow, an archer glove, and a crossbow. <sighs> kind of wishing I had gone ranged. That sounds kind of cool. <sighs> we'll buy it and we, we do have a gold. Nope, never mind. We lost it to the leeches. Frick that. Okay, let's just run out. Let's, let's do some world exploring. We got, we got some leaves. What are the leaves used for? They're used to make tribal stuff with summon damage. Oh, we can also make a, a wand of fire. Never mind. We need an eye mass. Don't know what that is. Uh, cool. So... Where do we get an eye mass? It drops from a stinging mass. Where do you find those? I don't know. But hey, there's a cyclop, so let's 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 deal with this guy. Oh, 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 he takes knockback, that's good. The ent takes a decent amount of damage from the tree sword. You can beat a tree with another tree and it takes decent damage, but fire does jack crap to the tree. No, yeah, that makes sense. That's okay. I understand that. That- no, no, no. That makes total sense. My jimmies are thoroughly rustled, guys. I don't know if you know this. You probably can tell from the- from the- my tone of voice. Why do I have a day bloom? Why does the day bloom look different? Who is replacing all of the vanilla sprites with their own modded sprites? Hey, we reached the snow biome. Fantastic. We're not gonna be living in the snow biome. Unless we are. I don't freaking know. I don't know anything right now. We got some recall potions. That's pretty good. What is that?! Why is there a snow elemental? Okay, that's fine. It's dead. I killed it. It dropped a loot bag. Let's right-click that. Got some copper bars. Awesome. So yeah, loot bags is another mod that I got. I decided to get this instead of uh, IMK Sushi's mod, because frankly, I'm kind of tired of all the tokens and crap. IMK Sushi's mod has a lot of helpful stuff in it, but what is that? Why has Chilled been changed? Again. What mod is changing all of the vanilla sprites and crap? What the heck? What is this? What is- what is that? Why is there a glacier? It's dead, that's okay. There's a wolf. Killed the wolf. Got a wolf pelt. What the frick is all this? Everfrost? And ice? What is Everfrost? It's material for frost bricks. It drops from a lot of stuff. What kind of wood is this? Why does this exist? Why has it taken over my corruption? Glacier wood. I'm so glad this sword exists. Holy crap. Oh, that was- those were walls. Okay, so, uh, what mod is that? What- what- what, uh... <sighs> Tremor. Oh! That's Tremor? Oh, Tremor, not Thorium. Okay. They changed the death weight as well! I'm- I'm sorry. Let me- let me- let me- let me just- let me just calm down. Okay, let's go- uh, free it. Let's go mining. Because apparently everything's just scary down there. What is this? Mudstone? Why are there mudstone bricks down here? 
What is... It's just like the remains of a dungeon down here. I mean, this is really cool, but what? There's not a crazy amount of loot down here. The, the loot's probably all down those watery holes. I don't have any glow sticks to throw down there, though, so I can't actually check. Dang it. Well, whatever. The frick? This is just an iron golem. Okay. Kind of looks like the Terrarian equivalent of the, uh, the Minecraft iron golem. Okay. Great. That's fine. There's a glowing mushroom biome down there. There's also some more ore that we inevitably can't mine. Yep. No, there's another freaking ancient golem! No! Why? The ancient golems are the worst enemies! Ah, oh, I'm gonna be here a long time. Oh good, there's another type of golem. A stone golem. So glad to see that there are so many recolors of the granite golem. Lots of originality here. It's dead! Oh my god! Jeez, frick those enemies, they're so annoying. By the way, I, I just would like to say, uh, if you are one of the people who made one of the mods that I'm currently playing, uh, I'm sorry in advance for any sort of criticism or flack I will inevitably throw your way. That's, I, I kind of do that. No matter how good the mod is, I'm gonna find something wrong with it at some point, and I typically don't let my opinions go unheard because... What is that? <laughs> yeah, it's another Biclamere. I remember those from the old modded playthrough, except it got hair. It's very terrifying now. Frick off, cave bat! Or whatever you were. I don't know. Look, I'm scared. I'm very scared and apprehensive. So yeah, back to what I was saying. I'm very sorry uh, if I offend you with any of my uh, terrible criticism that I will inevitably give. Okay, and we got some, we got ourselves a nice double jump. Honestly, we're doing, this is a pretty good start, considering a lot of the playthroughs I've done. Um, usually it takes forever to get boots and all sorts of things like that, so I'm glad. What is that? It's a fungal infector. God, the enemies are just, I forgot how many enemies these mods add. Mainly because I've never played 70% of them. Traveling Merchant has arrived. Damn it all. I really hate the traveling merchant. I really do. Well, we're kind of getting close to running out of inventory space already, so... Oh no, that's fine. We'll just be sent back, have all our money stolen, because that guy wasn't okay with the fact that I exist. Well, whatever. You know, that's fine. I wanted to go home to check out what the traveling merchant has that I can't buy. <sighs> what do you got, Romeo? You got money collector. Automatically places any coins picked into your piggy bank. If you don't have enough space in your piggy bank, it does nothing. That's incredible. I want it. Why does it cost 15 gold? Frick you, traveling merchant. Book barrier. Protective spell. Conjure conjures books based on the player's max life to protect from attacks. This ah, oh, this cool things and a DPS meter, but I don't have money. Let's get some tungsten armor. And by tungsten armor, I mean a tungsten chest plate. What is that? A gore? Get him, traveling merch. Or just run away. That's fine. I'll just do that instead. He dropped a white feather. Somehow. Okay. Prairie feather headdress. Increases throne and ranged attacks. Peace offering. Consumable. The feather of peace. Somehow, I feel like that's a boss summoner. And won't actually be very peaceful. Just a guess, though. Ooh, wait, hold on. We actually have enough leather to make the, uh, the Delta Plane. So I'm gonna try and make that real quick, cause... That looks interesting and fun. Ah, uh, we need tin or copper. Too much of it, we need 12. And we have 12 of those combined, but we don't have enough... ...by itself. So I'm gonna have to go find some more tin. Okay! Let's uh, make ourselves a Delta Plane. Where is it? Delta plane. Allows flight. Almost. This is a mount, apparently. Woo! <laughs> hey, we got ourselves a hang glider. That's kind of cool. That's... 
I'm I'm pretty okay with that. So you can jump up and you just go, woo, and then it's, it's a nice hang glider. Look at that. That's really cool. Isn't that something? It's it's a little janky, but I like it. Wee! Holy frick a golden duck! Those exist? That's gotta be a mod. Too bad I can't catch it. Or kill it. Okay, well, it's the invincible, possibly imaginary golden duck. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. So, that is it for the first episode of the Terrarian Modded Cluster Fudge. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and I guess you can leave a like. Or if you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and leave a dislike. You can do whatever the frick you want. You're a human being. You got you can make choices for yourself. I don't gotta tell you what you gotta do. So, thank you all so much for watching. Hope y'all have a magnificent day. Derpo the Magnificent. Yeah.